Every avid filmmaker needs to start somewhere, and former South Suburban College student Dan Lamoureux's award-winning career began when he was a teenager. I've been interested in, uh, you know, TV film production since I was, you know, 15 or so. I mean, I, I, I started uh, in grade school. I had a little video camera and me and my friends would run around and make goofy movies. The difference between Dan and his friends is that his fascination with the camera never stopped. I always had an urge to do creative stuff, and I, but I, I can't draw. I don't have any like you know physical building skills. I can't build anything. Uh, and you know when you want to do something creative, uh, it's about you know the last option if you don't have any other skills. Dan enrolled at SSC in the television production classes, and he started thinking about creating stories with this camera as more than just a pastime. Until I got to South Suburban, I never really thought about, you know, making films for anything other than just fun. I, you know, it never hit me that if I stuck with it, I could really do it maybe, you know, as a career or at least something, you know, do it so that people would take it seriously. Dan started in the Introduction to Television class where he learned things like basic camera movements and script writing, doing everything in the college's television studio. From there, he went on to the advanced production classes, taking cameras out and editing his projects together. Dan was extremely intellectual, but at the same time, uh, he had an element of uh, um, comedy that kind of flowed into his work. So, you know, it was, it was a combination of a lot of things, um, you know, basically who Dan was as a person and, and um, obviously his you know, knowledge of, of the media at, at the time when he was learning it and you know very creative I think if, if I had to do it in one word it'd be he was extremely creative. His stuff was different because he took a lot of chances um, he put a lot of time and effort he was very dedicated to you know student production slash independent production which is a very difficult thing to do. Some of Dan's films included Zombies Demanding Equal Rights, Nerds Battling Over the Best Star Trek Captain Ever, and A Witch Doctor Not Very Good at Voodoo. The content, you know, we were totally free to create whatever we wanted. Uh, you know, what mattered was that we show our technical skills. He came up with, you know, good locations and, you know, very good costumes and makeup, and he put a lot of time and effort outside of what, you know, was normally requested of him. And I think that made him, you know, a, a better video maker. Um, I think that really gave him an insight to, you know, what you have to do as, as an independent video maker slash filmmaker. I've, you know, I've been to a lot of uh, uh, campuses and seen a lot of uh, their production facilities and their, you know, the, cl the classrooms and the, you know, the, uh, the uh, equipment that they have for production students, and South Suburban blows it away. I mean, the amount, the amount and quality of equipment they have is shocking. I mean, they have a TV studio, not like a fake, you know, college version of a TV studio. They have a working TV studio. I don't know any other school you can go to and not pay $30,000 a year to have access to that kind of equipment. The facilities are just over the top. Um, students that come in here are going to have hands-on experiences um, that they're not probably going to get elsewhere at the freshman and sophomore level. Students are able to use applied learning the moment television production classes begin and get a taste of what the production world is like. Even students entering the program with previous production experience still learn a lot. Those students that come in here then, then their skills I think are greatly honed. You know, the, the program gives them an opportunity to, to have access to, to wonderful technology. After getting his associate's degree at SSC, Dan was awarded an audiovisual fellowship to St. Xavier University. While only a 10-minute thesis project was required to graduate, Dan went above and beyond what was required and made a feature-length digital film. But after getting his bachelor's degree, Dan's interest in filmmaking began going in a different direction. You know, I got really into documentary filmmaking. Uh, Nerdcore for Life is, is probably the biggest film I ever worked on. It had the biggest budget. I mean, it was, you know, uh, it wasn't cheap. 
uh, but it's a documentary feature about the world of nerdcore hip hop. It, nerdcore is a, is a real thing, uh, even though it sounds kind of strange. It's rap music made by geeks and nerds for other geeks and nerds. You know, I posted a, a trailer for the documentary onto YouTube, uh, and you know, I sent a link out to everyone I knew, and by the end of the day, it was up to 100 hits, and I was very excited. I was like, wow, it's cool, 100 people have now seen this thing. And then I checked it a day later, and it was up to 20,000 hits, and I was like, wait a minute, YouTube saw it, and they made it a featured video, and it was on the front page of YouTube, and by, and six weeks later, it was a half a million views. And I was getting calls from newspapers around the country, reporters, I was getting calls from, I mean, you know, producers, I, you know, VH1 and, and, you know, MTV and all these people wanting to know about this film and all these film festivals. He's producing the stuff himself, which requires him to work at so many different levels in a production from the writing to the, like, to the directing, to the editing, camera work, etc., acting. Um, and so, you know, it takes a special breed of person to do that. The film premiered in March of 2008 and, for a year solid, screened at film festivals all over the country. Nerdcore for Life went on to win a few awards, including the Magic Missile Award at the Seattle True Independent Film Festival. Dan's production company, Crapbot Productions, has been making a name for itself from shooting music videos and web content. The company entered and did very well in a video contest for the 2016 Olympics. The point was, why Chicago? Why should Chicago get the 2016 Olympic Games? I did this goofy entry and I won $5,000 worth of, uh, of new camera gear. And so I, you know, I got to pick it all. It's great for not just myself, but you know, the other people that know Dan from, from the facility here to you know, see somebody be successful. And, you know, and, you know, and you know, it makes you honored. You know, that, that somebody that has gone through your program is doing well. Crapbot Productions has had its award-winning work seen by millions of viewers around the world and covered by media outlets such as Newsweek Magazine, The New York Times, NPR, and MTV. Dan Lamoureux is a self-described dork. He told Anne Strandchamps that's what inspired him to make a film about the nerdcore culture. If there's a social ladder for geekiness, nerds are above dorks. And so as a dork, I look up to nerds because, you know, they have skills. So when, when I realized there were people making nerdy music, I thought, well, this is so, so bizarre. And like, you know, even now, I've, I've known about it for almost three years. And even trying to describe it, it's like, that's just weird. How can that be? And so it's, it's a perfect fit for a documentary. Until I got to South Suburban, I never really thought about, you know, making films for anything other than just fun. I, you know, it never hit me that if I stuck with it, I could really do it maybe, you know, as a career or at least something, you know, do it so that people would take it seriously. Uh, so, I don't know, it kind of lit a fire under me. Uh, you know, the, the classes I took made me realize that if you keep doing this, maybe you can get paid to do it someday.